Okay, hope you are doing well. In my previous video, I explained that how you can achieve this machinery create dynamic machinery create in the uh, within Webflow. Uh, but in this video, I am going to explain it in the template page. Um, in the template page, uh, uh, these are the images which are coming from the multi uh, image field. So these are the topics which are very uh, which are present on the internet very rarely. I didn't find any of the topic related to this one. Uh, that's why I am going to explain in this video. Uh, that how you can achieve uh, the results uh, of this masonry grid uh, using the multi image field of uh, CMS or more images field of CMS which uh, which is the, the reference field of main CMS so I'm going to explain this how you can achieve this result in the web flow using the multi images multi image field of CMS item so uh, please subscribe share uh, and uh, like my channel uh, so that um, your likes and your comments and your subscription uh, will definitely motivate me and i'm able to explain uh, such type of topics more and more so i'm going to explain that how you can achieve this uh, using multi image field so i'm going to the uh, moving to the web flow uh, basically these uh, these are the multi image you can see uh, in the services field i have the I have one field with the name of services more images okay and then in the services more images you can see here that I upload uh, some of these images which I want in this format so basically I am uploading all of these images in more or multi images field and after that um, basically I have to um, I, uh, I have to uh, basically I don't have any uh, text uh, I don't have any, I'm unable to adding any text or uh, related to this so I am unable to explain the, the size as, such as medium wide or tall uh, as I explained my in, in my last video so uh, I don't have any option uh, to add the text for these images here so I just um, play a little bit trick here I just give uh, alternative text as uh, their specification for example I want this image as a tall then I want this image as a wide then I uh, want this image as, uh, this image as a medium so basically I use this alternative text as my uh, custom attribute uh, value so how I convert this alternative text in my custom attribute material let, uh, let's uh, see how I can achieve this result so uh, moving to the web flow Basically, uh, as in my previous video, I explained that uh, I have one uh, one uh, file of the custom code where I explained that uh, what does uh, I mean my style as a white. I mean uh, uh, by the white that I want this span of uh, one column and one row. Then by uh, by saying that item style is equal to tall, I mean that I want uh, the column span of one but the row span of three then by describing my item size as a medium I want my uh, column spans of two and row span of one similarly for the large and whatever how many styles you want to create here you can create uh, as uh, per your requirement so I created the four one here one is wide with the column span of one uh, with the um, uh, item style of tall with the column a span of three basically I want three column spans for this one one two three and then I want one column span for this one and two column span for this one then two, two column span for this one one column span for this one and then one two and three column span for this one so basically and uh, uh, I explain the column span one but the row span of three for this tall images so you can see that in the tall one I just give the column span of one but I give the column span or uh, row span of three so the column is one but the rows are three one two three and so on so you can create of your items uh, item style as per your requirement so I created as per my requirement uh, so after creating this as uh, um, in my previous video I explained that if it's not from the multi image field then simply you will go to your uh, item and then you give here the custom attribute but you see uh, that uh, I don't have any option of custom attribute from um, the CMS value uh, because this is from the multi image field uh, so for this one it's a very easy step and that there is a, um, uh, again some custom code for that uh, I just uh, explain that I uh, give uh, some alternative text to my images so uh, I just uh, by this code I just pick up that alternative text uh, which the uh, alternative text for the images which I describe in my CMS item multi image field so that alternative text that I explained in my multi images is just I pick that alternative text I save it in the variable caption and then I use that caption uh, for um, uh, the 
uh, basically I use that uh, caption for my item style. So I simply uh, give that caption to my item style as a uh, attribute. So simply I give this attribute uh, from the, uh, for example, the alternate text for one of the images wide, then for the next is tall, the next is medium. So basically this is the code which is picking up that alternative text and um, uh, then assigning that alternative as a custom attribute to my uh, items, to my CMS items. So from this custom code, uh, I'm able uh, to create uh, this grid into the messenger grid, which is the result is this one. So basically when I give it to the publish, let's see the result. I just simply give the alternative text to these images, then convert that alternative text to some variable and then use that variable as a item style of my uh, item style of my CMS multi image field. So here is the result. You can see that I achieved the result simply by applying the alternative text and converting it into the attribute of my uh, images. So hope you like the video, hope you like the concept. In my next video, I'm going to explain that how I achieve this cursor result, how I achieve this cursor uh, shadow result with the plus sign. So I'm going to explain my next video. So uh, keep in contact and please like and share my channel. Thank you.